Hey guys, just making a video here about one of my more recent comments uh, that disappeared due to a shadow ban. Um, I now have fully accepted just how bad it is, how many of my comments have disappeared, and how long it's been going on for. Um, so I'll make a video about how my comments disappear, and then we'll see what happens with the video. Um, so, as usual, I'm always uh, telling the truths that and the facts that uh, evidently somebody doesn't want to be told. Uh, regarding the U.S. Army document bioeffects of selected non-lethal weapons, which explains how uh, existing radar systems uh, are used to cause Havana syndrome because radar systems use the same frequency as a microwave oven. And just like a microwave oven causes water molecules in your uh, cup of water to shake rapidly and create friction and heat if those water molecules are inside your body, uh, it will have the exact same effect, even if the microwave frequency is applied from a distance like a satellite long-range surveillance radar uses a frequency between two and four gigahertz the microwave oven uses a frequency of 2.45 gigahertz so of course even at satellite distances even at a lower wattage even when it's not completely focused like within the metal box of a microwave oven microwaves still affect 2.45 gigahertz still cause water molecules to shake around. And of course, the people that got Havana syndrome had traumatic brain injury because the water in their brain was shaking around. It was, it was, they call it vibrations. It was being shaken by a low, a low volt, uh, wattage microwave current. That's what Havana syndrome is. Now Havana syndrome and the exposure to, uh, microwave satellite based, based microwaves is what has caused the exponential rise in mass shootings, suicides, overdoses, anxiety, depression, childhood ADD, etc. So, after another shooting, I said this young man is a victim. Bioeffects are selected non-lethal weapons and Havana syndrome have caused all the behavioral changes seen in the last 20 years. Congress and the military know it, yet they refuse to acknowledge it or do anything to protect our children. This guy comes in. Uh, now, th this guy comes in and says, it's people like me who are spreading conspiracy theories without providing any evidence. I think this is hilarious because the evidence is right here. This is the United States Army's document. If you search Havana Syndrome, it is now confirmed to have been uh, uh, hundreds of U.S. government employees have now been sickened with it. So the evidence is right here and right here. Yet this person, and I doubt they're really a person. They're probably a straw puppet account. Uh, this is somebody who has uh, a vested interest in keeping these facts from being known. Is claiming that I'm not providing evidence, which is weird. Um, this guy is just plain evil. And, of course, by saying he's just plain evil, there is no fix for evil. And that's what they're trying to see. It's basically they're saying nothing we can do, nothing to see here, just everybody forget about it, nothing we can do, which is just not true because you understand what's causing it and you can treat it. One, awareness uh, is the first step. If people understand that that these types of health uh, 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 consequences or complications, excuse me, can happen as a result of the 1,000 plus radar equipped Chinese and Russian satellites that orbit over the top, top of the United States every single day, then we can do something about it. Awareness is the first key. So I think my response here is perfect, and I'm just going to read it. Uh, are you aware that there are 1,000 plus radar equipped Chinese and Russian satellites that orbit over the top of the United States every single day? You can verify that with the world satellite map at ESRI.com. Are you willing to accept that a foreign adversary like Russia or China would harm us if they could? Did you read the 1996 U.S. Army document, Bioeffects of Selected Non-Lethal Weapons, before you commented? They describe in detail how they use radar systems to seriously affect physical and mental health in humans. FYI, radar is almost the same frequency. It's actually the same frequency as a microwave oven. Have you read the FCC documents? That's the Federal Communications Commission documents on the effects of nefarious radar exposure called Havana Syndrome. Just a quick note of which they say there was a massive increase or, or instance of uh, symptoms that looked like anxiety or depression because that you don't feel great when the water molecules in your body are being shaken around. Are you familiar with the work of Dr. Alan Frey? Are the Army and FCC credible sources in your opinion? Does decades of conclusive research by credible sources fit your definition of evidence? Are you aware that in the last 20 years, the suicide, teen suicide rates have doubled, preteen suicide rates have tripled, drug overdoses are up 600%? Not everyone, but many people. Huge exponential increase in people that have symptoms that mirror.
depression and anxiety. If you went into a doctor and you said, oh, I feel really uneasy because the water molecules in your body are being shaken around, he would just assume you had depression. And some people, it makes them feel very down. You just feel sick and groggy, brain fog. That's why all those kids all of a sudden had ADD. But that's, a, that's another conversation. And now, uh, take medication. This is not, in my opinion, this is a medical and scientific fact. Conspiracy theory only applies to the assertion that one's own government is perpetrating criminal acts against their own people. I have made no such statement here. The concept that foreign adversaries want to harm us, or at least gain an advantage over the United States, is widely accepted. What do you think they do with those satellites? Can you please expand on your theory that he was just plain evil? Did such a condition exist before Columbine? Why did the frequency of mass shooting exponentially increase after that? And how do we fix just plain evil, in your opinion? Let's get a dialogue going here. Does anyone have any idea what has caused this 20-year shift in human behavior and health? Um, I think it's a great response. It's fact-based. It's to the point. You know, I'm not going to let this guy bully me. Well, this comment disappeared immediately. Uh, I have another video on that. Watch that on my page. Um, but the fact that the social media companies are trying to cover up facts that explain the pain and suffering and deaths of probably at this point, we're, we're talking, you know, 10 million Americans in the last 25 years uh, is disturbing. I, I don't understand what, what, you know, their incentive is and why they would want to cover up these facts. Uh, but then again, lots of people are getting shadow banned these days that just tell truth that some corporation or some power structure, the plutocracy or the corporatocracy just don't like. I saw a piece about Rob Portnoy, this guy named Portnoy, who does barstool sports getting shadow banned because maybe he said some stuff about, you know, big finance or big pizza, he jokes. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. But I mean, you're talking about an ongoing national security threat and no one wants to address it. Even social media companies are trying to cover it up. It's bizarre. Uh, I mean, it's all fact and it's in plain view. I mean, none of this is like, I'm not uncovering anything here. It's been known this BioFX was declassified in 2006. So that means Congress knew or should have known, at least starting at the earliest in 2006, that all of this could be explained by that. Everybody knows that there are thousands of radar-equipped satellites above the United States every single day. Foreign satellites. Everybody knows it. It's all fact. So, sorry, turned into a bit of a rant here, but I'm just so... Uh, just disappointed in humanity at this point. Thanks for watching.